sleep in your eyes, eye crust, sand, eye boogers, or eye gunk. Whatever you call it, we all get it. That crusty stuff in the corners of your eyes when you wake up in the morning. The medical term is room, although you rarely are gonna hear that used. And today we're gonna talk all about eye boogers. Back to eye school with me, Dr. D, where I teach you about products and treatments related to dry eye syndrome and eye beauty so you can have healthy, beautiful, comfortable eyes. Make sure to give a little love tap on the subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest eye tips and tricks I have for you. So sleep crust on your eyes is a mix of mucus, exfoliated skin cells, oils, and tears produced or shed by the eye during sleep. Eye burgers refer to the buildup of mucus in the eye. During the day, each time a person blinks, the eyes flush away the secretions of room that they've produced. And since the eyes produce this mucus in such small quantities, most people never even notice it. At night, when a person does not blink, the mucus can build up. So we'll talk a little bit about what eye boogers are called, what causes eye boogers, and what crust in your eyes mean. Sleepies, eye gunk, or eye boogers, whatever you call them, the proper name for that gunk that collects in the corners of your eyes is room. It's exuded from your eyes for while you sleep, as you know, but also your nose and mouth. When it comes from your eyes, it's primarily made of mucus discharged from your cornea or your conjunctiva. It doesn't only happen when you're asleep though. Causes of excess mucus can include eye products. So some eye products like cosmetics or contact lenses may irritate the eyes and cause them to produce more mucus. Dirt and debris near the eyes. When the eyes have accumulated debris around them, such as when a person sleeps without cleaning off their mascara, they can become irritated. The eyes will produce extra mucus that can then get trapped in the eyes and on the eyelashes. Changes in the weather or climate. So some people produce more discharge at certain times of the year, such as during allergy season or cold weather. Healthy room is clear or light yellow. It can be hard, sludgy, or thin after sleeping, but should not be noticeable during the day. So how do you get rid of eye crust and should you take out your eye boogers? Is it normal to have eye boogers? every day. So most eye boogers are a sign that the eye is healthy and <laughs> is getting rid of dirt and debris. Good eye hygiene, including removing makeup at night and keeping the eyes clean by wiping the closed eyes with a clean, warm washcloth can help reduce your eye discharge. In people with dry eyes, eye drops may also help. Eye drops from different brands are available online though. Um, so speak with your doctor for the best one for you, but I'm really into non-preserved artificial tears. People with contact lenses who want to reduce their eye boogers should remove their contacts at night. They should also replace their contacts as directed by their eye doctor and use the appropriate solutions to clean their lenses. Some people will notice their eye boogers after sleeping and a warm compress held over the eyes for three to five minutes can help loosen the mucus. If there's enough discharge to cause the eyelids to stick shut in the morning, a person should speak to an eye doctor to rule out an infection. So ultimately eye boogers are normal and not a sign that something's wrong. But some eye infections can also cause similar symptoms. So it's important to know the difference between normal and harmful eye discharge. Prompt treatment of an eye infection can be the difference between it getting worse and causing long-term visual issues and just getting better and not being a problem. So it is very important to see an eye doctor. Some signs that your eye discharge could be a problem include if there's a sudden change, if it's also painful, if your eyes are red, if you're having eye discharge after an eye injury, if you have pain in your eyes, light sensitivity in your eyes, or changes in your vision. Ultimately, the eyes are constantly protecting themselves from invading materials, including dust, dander, mascara, and pet hairs. By producing a healthy discharge, the eyes are cleaning themselves and reducing the risk of infection. A person can keep their eyes healthy by monitoring that eye discharge and knowing what's normal for them and when to see an eye doctor. And if you've made it this far through all that booger talk and you're not already subscribed to my channel, I feel like I've earned it today. So hit that button down below so you don't miss any notifications. That is gonna be it for today's iSchool. Class is dismissed. <music>